I think the numbers uh, we heard were surprising to a lot of people that this budget ballooned to $217 billion. It is a an eye-popping amount, um, Tom. It's, um, you know, a lot of it, uh, you know, comes from this uh, stimulus package, a wealth tax, um, other federal money coming in. I, th I think a lot of people don't realize that um, uh, there are other federal sources that came in, you know, New York did receive the 12.5 billion and, and people say, well, and we've even actually split that up into a couple of out years uh, in regards to education and such. But, you know, we had we had 10 billion to deal with uh, education uh, on top of that, all these subsets, and you have to put those into the budget for the figure. I'm not making any excuse for the amount. It's an eye popping amount um, to anybody, but we did receive a lot of uh, federal stimulus package. And of course, we put the wealth tax uh, 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 on there for our, our wealthier individuals um, in New York State. So when we see that that enormous amount of money, that overall budget account, a lot of it accounts for federal stimulus money, that is a one timer, so to speak. Um, so, you know, that number is huge. It's, a, it's too big to swallow for a lot of people and I don't blame them. Um, but a lot of this comes from um, programs due to the pandemic um, that we're doing in a one-time shot. But there's a lot of things in this budget and I could go on um, that, I, that I do like and that are going to be for the benefit of people in my district and the North Country. The final days before the budget vote, uh, the legislature passed legalized recreational marijuana, adult use recreational marijuana. How did you vote on that? We know that uh, leading up to it, uh, the many times we've talked with you, you had some real concerns about that. I understand um, the, you know, the justice part of this and, uh, the, you know, my colleagues and, uh, and uh, wanting criminal justice reform. Two years ago, I voted to decriminalize um, low levels of possession of marijuana. And we did that um, under three ounces was was not a misdemeanor. It was uh, an appearance ticket. Um, I felt that we uh, ad address that. Can we address it more? Of course. But I did have some concerns in this. And let's let's take this. This is another issue where this is another uh, you know issue where I have a, a difference of opinion in policy. First of all, this doesn't take effect for anywhere from 18 months to two years. So you can't start growing uh, uh, marijuana in your house for, for 18 months. I'm already getting um, inquiries in my office about that. Um, you know, these uh, dispensaries that the state is going to put up, um, you know, that, that this panel has to be formed and it's gonna be 12 months and then more time beyond that, the panel has to be formed. The dispensaries have to be up before people can have uh, marijuana. You can have up to five pounds in your possession per adult in the house. I don't know how we're gonna attempt to make money off from that if uh, people can have five pounds uh, in their house. I mean, uh, part of this was getting the tax revenue uh, off from it. Um, and certainly um, some of my concerns are, and they're legitimate concerns. I mean, the advocates, I wish they would have listened to me on this, certainly with the driver impairment of it. And everybody says, well, they're doing it anyway. Well, you know what? We lost a lot of lives. Um, before we had strict DWI laws in this country uh, regarding alcohol, right? We lost thousands and thousands of lives. Why would we make that mistake again? Why are we making that mistake again? Let's put these in place. I don't have an issue with as far as, you know, the use, but we need um, some kind of regulations in, in place for this. Uh, another major concern that I have with this is through businesses and employment. A lot of people don't realize this, and a lot of people in my area still don't realize this. They will not legally be able to smoke uh, or to ingest marijuana because a lot of manufacturers in our area, certainly police uh, and law enforcement in our area still have uh, prohibitions on that. Um, companies are able to say, listen, we have a policy in place. You can't, um, you can't uh, use, um, use marijuana. Tom, I can picture in the future. I just can look at this in the future. You're gonna have an employee out there that tests positive for marijuana. And they're going to say, listen, New York State passed this. This is a legal drug. I was not under the influence of marijuana. And once we're talking about marijuana again, there is no, there's, there's no time constraint here. You can have it in your system from anywhere up to 
three to seven to 30 days after use. So how are we going to do that? I can picture in the future, there is going to be a lawsuit behind this with an employee and their company. We should have figured some of this stuff out before uh, before this. Like I said, I don't have an, an issue with a, a lot of it, but there are certain issues that I believe should have been addressed in this law.